Hey there. Um, so yeah, this is a common issue people have where you've rigged your character and um, you've skinned it and you go to add the IK handle. Let's get that up. And basically when you add the IK handle like this, and if I select the IK handle and move it up, you'll see that the leg bends off to the side like that, which is not what you want. Um, so basically the reason this happens is because the way the Maya works out which way the knee is pointing is by looking at the bend in the in the legs. Um, so normally when you're rigging your character, you'll want a mesh that has a slight kind of bend forwards in the knees, um, you know, like this kind of shape. Um, obviously this one hasn't really got that. It's got very straight legs. And if anything, the leg is slightly bending this way. And that's why when we when we do this, it, it, it assumes that the knee is supposed to be bending, bending this way. So um, we can fix it though. Um, so what we're gonna do, there's different ways you can fix this. Um, but what I'm gonna do is basically use the, um, basically re reposition the, the joints um, so that they have a bend in them. And then um, I'm gonna have to detach and retach this, the, the mesh at that point, um, but I'll, I'll show you how that works. So let's just delete that um, IK handle first. And I'll, I'll do it on this leg actually. So um, let's have a look. So first of all, I, I just wanna straighten out this, this leg. So a good way of doing that is actually, um, if I just, move it like this and then straighten it out. If we look at the top view here, um, it's quite easy to see then whether it's 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 bending or not. And I'm gonna make my um, transform gizmo, as it's called, a little bit larger by press, pressing the, uh, the plus or minus keys on the keyboard. And that just gives you a little bit more control. So I can really position this, these two joints here directly above each other. Um, and they're gonna to wanna to be going forwards as well because we're gonna to want to have that bend in the knee. Um, so let's let's move it like this. In fact, I'll look at the side view for that. Um, so let's move this one, something like that. Looks good. And then I'll come down to the, the knee here. Um, and yeah, the orthographic views are really good for this because you can really tell if something is, um, you know, facing the right direction or not. So again, I'm gonna kind of position it so that it's pointing straight forward. So I'm looking at the red line here and if that's pointing straight, if that's straight, I know the, the, the joint is pointing straight forward. And then from the top view, I can again position it over. Oh, now you see this, this joint's now messed up. So I must have done something there to make that not straight. So let's position that one straight again and do this. And then this one, let's go like that and let's bring it back and There we go. I'll make the transform thing a bit bigger so I've got a bit more control. And um, there we go, that's looking pretty good. And then let's go to this view and maybe I'll just straighten up the, um, the foot a bit. There we go. Excellent, so hopefully now those are, um, you know, it's really the, we're not too worried about the foot. The foot doesn't really come into play with the IK handle. It's just this joint and this joint. And as long as the, well, I say the, the you know, the, the end of this joint, which is the foot, as long as that is, you know, above, um, in a straight line, basically. It doesn't need to be directly below it, but it needs to be kind of in a straight line from this angle. Um, and as long as we have this bend pointing forwards, we, we should be fine. So at this point, it would be nice if we could just attach the IK handle now, but unfortunately we, we can't do that because we have rotation values. Because we've rotated our joints, um, we have values now. And if I, I tried to attach the IK handle like this, click, click, you'll see that it, it pops back into place, which obviously we don't want. So we need to zero out these rotations. Um, annoyingly, we can't do that because we have the skin attached, the mesh attached. So if I was to go to the, um, freeze transforms and what that does uh, if you haven't used this before if we freeze the transforms it keeps the um the either the translate rotational scale it keeps them in the same position but it'll just zero out the values here so it won't change the angle it's at it will just zero these out and i only want to freeze the the rotate values at the moment so i'm going to click on that 
and it'll see it'll come up with an error and that's because we have this skin attached. So now what we need to do is select the skin and we can detach the skin. So if I go to unbind skin here, um, but again, we're gonna run into a problem. So let's go into the option box and I'll click on apply just to show you what happens. If we do that, oops, I've got it set to how it was before. So if I, if I reset it, this will be what yours looks like um, probably. So if I click on this, you'll see that the, the mesh pops back into place. Uh, the original position it was um, attached to the skeleton in. Um, so what we want to do, we actually want to bake the changes we've made into the mesh. Um, so I'll come here and I'll change that to bake history. I'll click on apply and then that will detach the mesh but keep any kind of changes we've made in it, which is what we want. Now what we can do is we can select the, um, the joints. Um, I can just select the top one, I think, and go to Modify Freeze Transforms and um, click on Apply. I think that will also freeze the children. Yep, so they're all, all you see the values are all zero. So that's all good. Now what we can do is we can reattach the, um, the mesh to the skin, to the skeleton. So I can go Bind Skin. And now I can place the IK handle. So if I go to create IK handle, and I click on this, uh, let's just try again. I think I'm selecting the mesh, so let's turn the mesh off. And let's go create IK handle, click on this one. It's quite fiddly, the joints are really small. Click on this one, and it's added the IK handle. And let's see, does it actually rotate the right way? Yay! There we go, so that's now rotating with a nice bend in it um, and it's all looking good. So obviously normally what you do um, is you would do both legs. You, I wouldn't um, do this one and then um, you know once I detach the mesh, in fact what I do is I position both legs first. I would then um, detach the mesh. So let's just go through it again. You um, basically yeah, position both legs correctly with the, um, you know, above each other using the, um, the joints. You then detach the mesh, making sure that when you unbind it, you select Bake History, click on Apply. Then you select the joints and you go to Modify Freeze Transforms and you freeze the rotations to get rid of the, the values in there. Then you can attach the IK handles or you can bind the skin next and then you can attach the IK handles, yeah. So yeah, hopefully that helps.